also be considered no, as a product type of assessment because there's a product, no, an essay. No? Although, as mentioned, essay test is really more assessing uh, uh, other things uh, that may not be necessarily a product no? uh, because sometimes we give essay because, although the essay is a product, no, but most of the time we give essay because we want to know our students' knowledge or understanding on a particular issue or topic. Next item for this particular competency, item number six. What condition will help you decide that the students are ready to learn and move to the next learning competency? Okay, so this is actually an issue no? uh, to many teachers. When do I move to the next lesson? When do I move to the next topic? Based, if I will base my, my decision on the assessment results of my students. So option A says, when 100% of the students are able to submit the requirements of a competency. Option B says, when every student is able to meet the prerequisite skill to the target learning competency. Option C says, when more than 90% of the students have passed the summative assessment of that particular competency. And the last option, option D, says when every student is able to demonstrate the task from the previous level competency. Okay, so let's see what's the best answer. Those who are watching live, maybe at this point, you're able to have your own answer no, by looking at the item stem and that of the options. But let's see now what's the best answer. Option C, when more than 90% of the students have passed the summative assessment of the competency. Okay, so why not option A? Option A says 100%. But if you look at option A, it only talks about being able to submit the requirements of a competency. No? So submitting a requirements may not really be uh, the best way no, to determine whether the students have already attained or mastered a particular competency. There's a need for a summative assessment where, that wherein we can check whether majority, if not all of the students, have actually attained or mastered the competency that we are actually assessing. Okay, that's why option C is a better answer than option A. Let's look at the results. So it's a little bit more difficult compared to the other items. Uh, only 35% of the students, uh, of the teachers who took the test or the literacy inventory actually answered option C. And surprisingly, okay, uh, many uh, actually answered no. Option B. Let's revisit option B. When every student is able to meet the prerequisite skill to the target learning competency. Okay, so maybe as uh, many teachers, no, or those who answered this particular uh, uh, option, thought that this is the best answer because of the phrase "when every student." Amang naman yon, di ba? When every student, that's the goal, di ba? No one uh, left behind. Ika nga hundred percent. If you look at the phrase, when every student is able to meet the prerequisite skill to the target learning competency. So what's actually uh, met on this particular uh, item is only the prerequisite skill, not yet the actual target learning competency. Okay, And therefore, uh, that's not the best answer. And the best answer, of course, is option C and 35% of uh, of teachers who took the test got it correctly. Item seven. Okay, so this is something you know, very familiar with uh, uh, to all teachers, no? Table of specifications. So why is a table of specification uh, needed before item writing? Option A, to give the impression that a test is sophisticated. Option B, to provide the basis for developing test items. Option C, to serve as a blueprint of the test. And option D, to ensure that the test is valid. Okay, so those who are watching live, even if you have not taken the test, okay, you try to answer it on your own. Okay, so let's see if your answer is correct. It should be option D, to provide the basis for developing test items. Okay, so why not option A? Well, 
giving the test uh, a test should be sophisticated no if the the content of, the, of what's being measured is actually sophisticated no but that's not the goal no of uh, item writing no uh, it's not just about making the test complex or sophisticated or to give impression that the test is uh, sophisticated no although what we want is indeed no a test that have some level of sophistication that's not really the reason why we are using or constructing a table of specifications uh, option C, blueprint of the test, that's a better answer actually no, compared to option A. However, option C talks only about the TOS serving as blueprint. It does not explicitly state the significance or importance of the test as a of the, of the TOS as a blueprint. No? Unlike in option B, it explicitly articulates why having a TOS is important. Why is TOS important? So that we will have a basis for developing test items. Okay, option D to ensure that the test is valid. Yes, we also want our test to be valid. And one way actually to, to, to provide evidence that our test is valid is having a TOS. No? So that will give us evidence that we have content validity in our test. But of course, there are several measures of validity, even in terms of content validity. No? The TOS is not enough for us to ensure that the test is valid just because we have a TOS. That's why in this particular item, the best answer is the option that actually articulates why TOS is important. And in this case, it's option B to provide the basis for developing test items. Okay, uh, it's lower than expected, no? Uh, only 50%, no? So over half of the respondents or teachers, no? Who took the inventory got the correct answer, okay? Uh, very few uh, selected option A, so that's a good result. So next to option B, no, uh, teachers actually selected option C. No, it is, in a way, it's good, no, because as mentioned earlier, it's actually also a correct answer. No, a TOS also serves as a blueprint of the test. The only reason why option B is a superior answer is because it's able to explicitly state why a TOS is important. No, of course, saying a test is a, a TOS can serve as a blueprint. Uh, does not no, explicitly say why it's important no? because uh, a blueprint can have many use. And actually, blueprint, that's why it's a blueprint, it serves as basis. No? So uh, option B is uh, more complete when it comes to the information provided in terms of highlighting why a TOS is important. Hence, why option C no, makes sense, option B is the better answer. Next, option eight. What processes are relevant? Uh, option eight, item eight, I'm sorry. What processes are relevant when a teacher designs a performance task worksheet for the students? Uh, for a while. Uh, one minute break, please. <laughs> 